The U.S. presidential motorcade arrives at the United Nations, passing the ever-present groups of demonstrators assembled on the other side of the road. A sense of anticipation in the General Assembly chamber and a warm reception for Barack Obama as he walks to the podium, his wife seated among the heads of state and dignitaries. The time has come for the world to move in a new direction. We must embrace a new era of engagement based on mutual interest and mutual respect. And our work must begin now. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the U.S. would participate fully. One rooted on four basic principles. Non-proliferation and disarmament. The promotion of peace and security. The preservation of our planet and a global economy that advances opportunities for all people. Among the speakers that follow the U.S. president and leader of Libya, Muammar Gaddafi speaking at the U.N. for the first time after 40 years in power. And waving the U.N. charter, he called for an end to any permanent membership of the Security Council, arguing that small nations should have the same rights as the big. It was a speech that lasted well over an hour and covered subjects ranging from jet lag to political assassination. And then the assassination or the killing of Kennedy in 60, 63 or 62. President of the United States of America, why? We want to know who, who killed him. Somebody who by the name of Lee Harvey and then another one, Jack Ruby, killed Lee Harvey. Why did, why did he kill him? Earlier, the UN Secretary General had opened proceedings, sticking to his a lot of time, calling for international unity. If ever there were time to act in a spirit of renewed multilateralism, a moment to create a United Nations of genuine collective action, it is now. Now is our time. A time to put the United back into the United Nations. United in purpose, united in action. And a reminder that this UN building is due to be closed for renovation at the end of these proceedings. Our common ambition is to make this outward renovation a symbol of inward renewal. A renewal, importantly, in which the United States says it is willing to both lead and be part of. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations in New York.